Shalom. All praises to Yahweh by Shem Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh by Shem Shai brought a thumb to you, hopefully legged out there. And this is prob probably going to be a quick hit. A quick hit. You know, I'm just out and about. You know, I'm just trying to hustle, make some shuckles and whatnot. You know, and I'm um, pretty much. You know, um, I think this is one of those uh, lessons that, because you know, sometimes I get lessons on the back of my mind. You know, I can hold it off. You know, I can wait to do them. But some lessons, you just gotta jump on it while the spirit is hot. And this is definitely one of those lessons. You know, because what is uh, what time is it, man? It's like two thirty ish. Two thirty. Well, two thirty on the dot. Um, and ever since I woke up this morning, early this morning, you know, um. All the way up to this point, man. You know, Satan's been he's been uh he's he's been fucking with me, man. You know, the, the spirits been they've been fucking with me, man. You know? And it kinda it kinda had me in a in a vexed mood. See, this is, this is exactly what I'm talking about, man. These people don't know how to drive, bro. But nevertheless, um, like I said, or like I was saying, man, it had me in a it kinda had me in a in a vexed spirit, you know. I, I was getting kinda agitated and frustrated. You know, and it, it even got to a point, and this is where I had to, I had to check myself, and correct myself, rebuke myself, because, like I was saying, man, it was getting to a point where I was just like, man, Lord, why, why, like, why is this happening to me right now? Why, 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 why is Satan fucking with me right now? You know, you know, and asking these questions, man. <clears throat> like I said, I, I, you know, quickly I had to check myself. You know, I had to rebuke myself. You know. Because, um, you know, a few precepts coming to mind, you know, um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to try to, um, I'm going to try to, um, get into this parking lot real quick so I can get into some precepts. Because two particular precepts came into mind, you know, while I was just thinking, like I said, man, I had to rebuke myself in this, um, well, now that I say that, you know, I got to. Uh, another precepts come to mind, but uh, Lord, what I can get them as soon as I can get into this parking lot, real quick. And like I said, man, it's just you know just being out and about, and um, you know just just working, hustling, you know, um, you know. So I'm in transit right now. So, but yeah, um, like I was saying, I was um. Just meditate on. Well, I'm gonna let the scriptures, let the scriptures talk, let the scriptures speak. Just bear with me, real quick. Um. Because you know, at the end of the day, man, this is this is a part of the. This is a part of the territory, you know. This 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 comes with it. So just bear with me real quick. Cuz that's another thing, man. This I mean, I mean, it's, it's little things too, man. Just, just one thing after another. You know, I'm trying to get these orders in, and you know, because I do, I do some of these app-based jobs. You know, and you know, these damn apps be acting up on me, man. I be trying to. It's just like, man, it's, it's one thing after another. It, it seems like you know, it's just, I, and I was really in a, like I said, man, I'm just being in a vexed state, and I was just like, Lord, can you, can you just please cut me a break, you know, this, because it was getting frustrating, bro, like, I was getting ready to call it a quits and just, you know, for the rest of the day, just, just be on chill mode or, you know, whatever the case may be, but, like I said, you know, because all the times, man, the spirit, or excuse me, the, like, the scriptures, the scriptures talk about the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak, you know, a lot of times, you know, the flesh wants to do something, the flesh wants to do one thing, you know, or the, the flesh may react a certain way to particular situations, but this is when the spirit has a kick in, you know, the, the spirit has a kick in the overdrive, 
because like I said, I was getting to a point where I was like, man, the hell with it, man. I am, you know, I, ain't, you know, I don't feel like doing no videos or anything, you know, just just the hell with it, because I was getting so frustrated, bro. But Lord's will, this things again. This is what I'm talking about. You know, my none of my apps want to work. All of a sudden, they, you know, they they don't want to work. All these different apps, man, they're acting up. Um, but I'm gonna get this in Second Edges chapter seven, verse um, Second Edges chapter seven, because like I was saying, this this you know all this comes with it, you know. It's all of the condition. It's all a condition of the battle, which I'm going to get here in Second Edges chapter seven. Second Edges chapter seven, verse uh, fifty-seven. It says. Second Ezra seven fifty seven. Then answered he me and said, This is the condition of the battle, which man that is born upon the earth shall fight. So, you know, hey, it's a it's a constant fight. It's a constant struggle. You know, and hey, you know, like like Pop said, man, hey, you you win some, you lose some, but you live to fight another day. You know, it's, it's a constant battle, man. It's a constant struggle. It's a constant war. And quite frankly, this war, um, you know. It's gonna to continue to wage on until Yahweh Shai comes, which you know this this is why so desperately we need Yahweh Shai man. All right, we need Yahweh Shai man. We, we we need him to get us out of this out of this place. We need this, we need him to get us out of this condition. Like I said, man, it's, it's gonna be like this. It's gonna be a fight, like the scriptures say, enduring until the end. You know, hey, that's why, and it makes sense. You know, when the apostles had made, I forgot who it was. Um, I think it was the Elder Apostle Gabar where I made this statement about it. It might have been the Elder Apostle Tahar or Elder Apostle Gabar that made this statement about how, listen, man, we got to get, we, we have to love to suffer, man. We, you know, we, we have to get used to, to, to suffering. We have to love to suffer. We have to love catching hell. Because again, it's, this, it's a part of the, the, it's a part of the, this is a condition of the battle. This, this is a part of the fight. You know, and it's going to be like this until the very end, man. Until your house shot comes and Lord's will will be of that number. He redeems us, man. It's going to be like this until the very end. You know, so like I was saying, man, while, you know, when I'm just thinking to myself, you know, um, why is this shit happening, happening to me, man? Because like the saying goes, man, if, if it's not one thing or another, if it's not one thing, it's another, you know, and, you know, for the most part, we're, we're, we're used to, for the most part, man, we're used to catching hell. Man, we we're used to, we're we're we we are used to going through certain things and whatnot. But sometimes, some days, it's just like, man, I, Lord, why why me? You know, you start to ask those questions. Why, why you know, why why are you picking on me, Lord? Why why me? But again, this is when the, the the spirit has to kick in. You know, that's the beautiful thing about this truth, man. You know, the Lord has given us this understanding to a lot of things that. You know, we a lot of us we had we had we had questions before we came into this truth, man. We had these questions, like I said, the Wadi Al Bashima was shot for this truth, man. It all makes sense, you know. And one of those things being why we suffer because you know the, these Christians, man, in the Christian church and these different religions and whatnot, you know, they they basically talk about how, man, if you accept the Lord and Savior, then pretty much everything's going to be a, a breeze. When that's it's quite the opposite, all right? As it tells in Ecclesiastes, because the second chapter, man, prepare thy soul for temptation, all right? Because when we come into this truth, hey, listen, you know, it's only going to get harder. It's only going to get, it's only going to get tougher, man. You know? And, again, the Wadi HaVashim HaVashim for giving us this truth, all right? Because, hey, you know, it's necessary, you know, the different things that we go through, the different things that the Lord puts us through, he, he, he needs us to be on edge. All right. He needs us to be on edge because we can't get comfortable. That's the, one of the biggest mistakes that we can make in this truth, man. We get comfortable. We get complacent. And as the scriptures say, this is not our rest. This is not the place. This is not the time nor place to be getting comfortable. All right. Like I said, oh, we're going to get all that in the kingdom. As of right now, hey, you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a fight. As I read, man, it's, it's gonna be a constant fight, a constant battle, a constant struggle, man. One thing after another.
you know, it's to the point that, you know, um, like I said, for the most part, a lot of us, we're numb to a lot of things, man. We just, you know, it's, at this point, it's just like, whatever, man, you know, this is the Lord's will, whatever. But like I said, some days it's just like, man, why, why, why today? You know, why, why me? You know, but like I said, hey, the Lord needs us to be on edge, man. He needs us to, to have that, 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 that fire in us, man. He, he, you know, you see, man, he needs us that, he needs us to have that fire in us, man. You know, and, um, the other scripture that I was thinking about, see, like I said, you know, um, just, um, you know, just, just being overly aggravated and frustrated, it gave me the fuel to do this video, right? Uh, to, to do this video right now, you know, I'm just so, you know, so aggravated and so frustrated, you know, but it's needed, it's necessary, you know, but, um, there was another precept, see, that's why I wanted to, you know, get on the, j jump on this while the iron was hot, um, oh yeah, yeah, the water y'all was shy, so I'm gonna get this one here, because again, um, we're in this, being that we're in this truth, again, it's not gonna get any harder, you know, hey, there's targets on our back now, you know. Um, the, I believe it was the Apostle Paul. He talked about the thorn that was in his flesh, you know. Because with this truth, another thing, man, with this truth, it's easy to get puffed up. It's easy. It's easy to get proud. It's easy to think something of ourselves when we're nothing, you know. Well, hey, the Lord has to keep us humble, at the, you know. At the same time, he, he has to level us, level us out. He has to keep us balanced as well, you know. He has to, he, you know, we have to remain humble. The more we grow in this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, like I said, it's, the easier it becomes to be puffed up. Well, hey, the Lord, he has to keep us humble. He has to balance us out, man. You know, so that thorn in the flesh, whatever it may be for each and every one of us, you know, like I said, the Lord needs us to be on edge. You know, the Lord needs us to be on edge, man. We can't get comfortable here, you know. Um, But it, uh, another thing that I was, um, what came to mind while I was, you know, meditating and whatnot, because it's, it's crazy. Because you got this, uh, you got this guy. I mean, you know, I'm not gonna say his name, you know, um, but he's a familiar face in Israel, you know, and um, even more more so with a uh, great millstone, you know, for people that primarily follow great millstone, you know, um, he's a familiar face. Like I said, I'm not gonna name his, I'm not, I'm not gonna say his name, but. <laughs> Um, it's crazy because, you know, this guy, you know, um, as well as another, another, another cat, you know, I mean, I think they're still doing their own thing. They're just, um, you know, no longer a part of Great Melstone. And, you know, from what I was looking into, you know, it, it appears that they're, um, you know, teaching different things, you know, teaching different doctrines now, you know, um, not according to, you know, what the apostles the doctrine of the apostles, it appears that they're, you know, teaching their own thing now, you know, you see, you know, stuff like that, it's crazy, because um, I saw Elder Apostle Tahar mention, you know, a few, not too long ago, a few days ago, a week ago or so, about how, hey, there needs to be another house cleaning in Israel, man, or within Great Millstone, and that's a scary thing, you know, it's, it's a scary thing, and it's seeing guys like, seeing stuff like that, you know, with guys falling out, you know, you know, all that being said, um, I'm going to read this in Luke chapter 22, verse 31. It says, and the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan have desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. So you see, again, this is another thing. Hey, Satan, he's looking, he's, he's, for the most part, it's always sifting season. You know, Satan is always look, looking, he's always on the, on the, on the, on the prowl, if I said that right. You know, he's always on the on the hunt, so to say. You know, because hey, man, you know, it's sifting season, and, and hey, Satan is looking to sift us out. You know, not granted, because the elect, you know, they are seared. You know, from the very beginning, their fate was sealed from the very beginning. But we don't know if we're of that number, so that's why again, you know, we need to, hey, man, we all need to be on point, man. You know, examining ourselves. That was another scripture that I was going to get, you know, examining ourselves. You know, 
So I'll go ahead and get that. And um, 1 Corinthians, oh, I'm sorry, 2 Corinthians, chapter 13, verse 5. Examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves, know ye not your own selves, that how that Yahweh Shah Hamashak is in you, except ye be reprobate. So you see, man, because hey, none of us are exempt. You know, none of us are, are exempt. We have to have this constant mindset of, hey, at the end of the day, we're, we're all replaceable, man. We're all replaceable. Because the thing is, hey, listen, the Lord don't need us for anything. All right, what he told, I think the Lord told Moses, hey, listen, man, if I wanted to, I could raise up rocks. If I'm not mistaken, I think that was Moses. He said, I could raise up rocks. I think that was Moses. I could be wrong. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I... I, I I think that was Moses. The Lord told the Moses, hey, listen, man, if I wanted to raise up these stones, then, you know, hey, the Lord don't need us, man. You know, like I said, it's a scary thing, but this is why we need to constantly check ourselves, rebuke ourselves, you know, examine ourselves, man, whether we be in his faith. All right, because again, hey, you know, hey, Satan, he's he's out here to sift. He, he's sifting, man, and he's doing his job, man. He's doing what the Lord set him up to do, you know, and he's doing his job perfectly, uh, per perfectly. You know, saying, hey, man, he's a perfect angel on the left hand, you know, and he's doing his job. You know, that was another thing that, you know, I was just meditating. You know, hey, Satan, he, he's trying to get us out of here, man. And, you know, we got to, hey, man, we got to be on our A game. You know, we all have to be, be on our A game, man. You know, because, again, from this point moving on, man, hey, it's only going to get harder. It's only going to get tougher. The, the afflictions, man, this is... And it makes sense, you know, because I was talking to the brothers, man. I was talking to the brothers, you know, because, hey, brothers have been going through it, you know. I've been going through it. You know, brothers have been going through it. I just, I just saw the um, testimonial video that the brother Mahaloya out there in uh, GMS Kansas City, man, you know. Um, hey, brothers is going through it. And I was having a conversation with the brothers, man, about how, hey, it makes sense. It makes sense being that we're the last stretch, we're the last push. All right, we're almost out of here, basically. So it only makes sense for, for for Satan to ramp up with the attacks. It only makes sense, you know. It only makes sense. Cause hey, with that being said, hey, that lets me know, you know, and through the spirit, man, it lets me know that hey, better things are coming. The spiritual power is coming, you know. Hey, these these things are coming. It's, it's right around the corner. That's how I take it, at least, you know. But nevertheless, hey, man, you know, Satan, he he's looking to sift, man. And, you know, he's looking to sift. Clearly, a hey, you know, more and more jig is going to start dropping. Uh, you know, they, they, they're going to start dropping like flies, man. Especially as the Lord turns the heat up. You know, jig is going to the cats are going to start dropping like flies, man. And we just got to hope and pray that, hey, you know, Lord's water spirit is on us to endure to the end. You know, but it's crazy. You know, doing this video, man, I'm already starting to feel better. You know, very therapeutic. Like I said, they had to jump on it while the iron was hot. And now I feel much better, you know. Now, now I feel better. I can, I can through the spirit, man. I can continue, continue to go on with my day, you know. Low as well, I get through the rest of the day. But yeah, man, you know. Hey, hopefully this was edifying. All praises to Yahweh Bashim Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh Bashim Shai, Brakatham to the hopefully elect. Low as well until next time. Shalom.